name is Barbie, and it's spelled with a B-A-R-B-E-E. -E. The reason is the B is our logo, and it's a glass and mirror etching product, and if it doesn't have the B, it's not from me. It is permanent. It works on glass, mirror, marble, slate, and china. It makes china into bisque. We're going to show you all about these different things because this is a teaching video that I want to teach you how to use our product that is so easy to use. And this is the cream. Then we have a liquid that is called Dippin' Edge. Think of the green as the cream and the liquid is the blue. When you're having a designated pattern, you use the cream. When you have an all over etch, use the liquid. They both have the same properties. Now I want to tell you the good, the bad, and what it is, okay? The good is it works on all these things in a beautiful, even etch. When you get it, it comes in a nice, creamy color. As you work it, it what it will do, it will turn to cream, to caramel, to dark brown, and even to licorice. But it still works. I don't care how old it is, it still works. Now then, the thing of it is, if you have a doubt, because just like today, we're working with different people, and they'll call up and they'll say, well, it's dark, and I'll say, it still works. Don't throw it away. If you want to test it, all you have to do is take like a peanut butter jar or a mayonnaise jar, pour a little bit of your cream on, let it sit for 15 minutes, take it off and put it back in the jar, because that's the thing I didn't tell you. That's the secret of this. It's reusable. You use a whole lot. The rule of thumb is you can't use too much, just too little. So you pour it on after 15 minutes, put it back in the jar to be reused, wash it off, and if it is etching beautifully, then you can go right ahead and use it. If not, you've used it over and over and over too much. All right, now what I'm gonna do, we're going to be showing you how to use and make it with a pattern. This is your stencil. A stencil has three parts. Think of a sandwich, two pieces of bread and a piece of cheese. We're going to have to find the cheese, okay? Now then, this stencil is a little hummingbird. You can see it very faintly on this side. On this side, you don't see anything. So what you're going to do, you're going to hold your pattern with your design away from you. And all you're going to do is take your little pick tool and go in and what you're going to do is is you peel it right off like this and this side is sticky. What you're going to then do is to take your mirror your glass marble slate or china and you just put your little pattern down and rub it down. We're using a squeegee. This is the etch all squeegee. It's very important. I don't want you to use a popsicle stick or I don't want you to use a credit card. This actually bends and it's very tight. So all you're going to do is rub down your design very tight, okay? Rub, rub, rub. And glass and mirror is a lot more resilient than you think. So don't think, oh, I'm going to break it. No, you're not. You just rub it down nice and tight. All right. Then, now that you've got it down nice and tight, you're going to take off that third piece, the layer. So you take it and then just peel it. All of these are Barbie's tips and tricks. It's very simple to do, but just like taking your pattern off, you don't want to yank it because if you yank it, these are all little cut pieces and they'll come off. So what you're going to do is you just peel it off. But now you notice I am going very close and I'm holding my hand in front as, oh, see how it does? So you're just going to take your finger and put that down, peel, peel, peel. And when it comes off, don't throw this away. This is a treasure. You put this on, that is your trash basket. I like to clean up as I go along. So now what you're going to do, you're going to pick your pattern. There are little cut lines. A lady the other day, she was trying and she thought she had to cut the lines. They're already cut. And you do not want to go in to the little edges because nine times out of 10, you're going to lose your um, straight lines. So you go just on the inside, pick it out, voila, you put it right over there. 
you do not want to pick out the little bird's eye or you're going to have a blind bird. And you can just put your little tool down, pick this up with your finger. See how easy it is? You just take it out like this. Go into the center, pick it out, put it in your trash basket. Pick it out, put it in your trash basket. There is your pattern. Okay? Now then, this becomes trash. Just throw it away, and you have your design. Now then, maybe you picked up and lifted part of it, or your little eye. So what you want to do is you would want to rub it down, but never rub it down with your uh, squeegee on just a plain pattern. Take the back part of your paper, put it over, and rub it down. Rub, rub, rub. That means that all of your little pieces would be going in. So you're rubbing that down tight. Because if you don't, you don't want any of your cream to be going underneath your pattern. Think of it's bubble time now. Sometimes when you put down, there might be a little bubble alongside of your design. Along here, it makes no difference at all. But if it would be by your line, then it could have the cream to go underneath. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your squeegee and just rub out that little bubble. Now that you've got it all down, when you picked out with your little pick tool, this is sticky. You might have little white lines. All that is, is the glue. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your finger. Never use Windex or any kind of cleaner or a rag. Just take your finger. See how my finger is kind of flat and my thumb is kind of flat? That's because we're doing this. So what you want to do is just come in and rub out any of those little white marks. Okay? Now they're all gone. Now, my goodness, what have you done? You've got fingerprints. This is the etch-all salute. You put four fingers together and you rub fast. Turn it fast. Now all your fingerprints are gone. It takes 15 minutes to get a beautiful even etch. And the beauty of this product, it will never eat your pattern. Okay, but one second and you've got a spot. So see how I've got the mirror showing here and over here? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my little tape. You can use a piece of contact paper, but this is, you know how Goldilocks, it was too sweet, too hard, too lumpy, and then there was just right. This is just right. Your frog tape is too sticky. Your painter's blue tape is too little of the sticky. So this is just right. This is your automobile striping tape. It comes in all different sizes. So all you're going to do is you're going to take off a piece of this. We're going to go into our little pattern and we're going to cover that because you do not want it to be etched where you don't want it. So you're going to put that down and I'm going to sit that right along there and I'm going to take another piece. Do not, do not think, oh, well, I'll just tuck it under. You don't want to tuck it under because if you tuck it under, that just takes that much longer that you're going to have to peel it off again. So just rub it down and it works great, okay? like this, all right? Now then, I'm going to pour the cream on. And we're gonna put this right down here, because this we're gonna throw away because we don't need it anymore. The rule and the reason that you're going to pour it now, you never pour directly on your pattern. If you do, it's like throwing a rock into water. And if you do that, it would ripple, or you might get a line. So what you're gonna do, find the largest area and then you're going to put your cream on there. You're gonna take your cream and you start, it's a two thing, okay? You're going to put your cream on and it's nice and thick and because this way you can do your vertical etches and everything else. You start, you do not make a puddle and stop and come back. You go right along and you're, pull, you're pouring behind yourself so you know you have enough product. And you just keep pouring and pouring and get it on. And when you know you have enough, then you can stop. And you just pull it over. And I, oh, the little beak. And now then, 
what is a rule of thumb? You can never use too much, just too little. So, but why don't you care? Why wouldn't you care? It's reusable. So, rule of thumb, never too little, never too much, just too little. So you put it on, but now then, because it is thick, you just might have some air bubbles underneath. So what you're gonna do, you're not gonna slice and dice, you're going to just very gently pounce. Think to yourself, push the bubbles, push the bubbles, push the bubbles, just like that. Clean this off and put your cream down. This is your dirty. You have a clean one and a dirty one. Now I'm just gonna let that sit there for about 15 minutes. But during this time, I'm not going to have you just to be waiting 15 minutes. I'm going to keep you busy, busy, busy. So listen, because when I start with one thing and when I get to the end of it, it's time to take it off. You don't have to time it or anything else, because I've done this enough that I kind of know it takes 15 minutes. Okay, all right. Maybe you have a rounded container and you think, oh, it's going to go all over. No, it's not. You have your rounded container, as you can see here. All this is, is a little mason jar, a little ball jar. So what you're going to do, you put your pattern down exactly like we did before. But right before you put your cream on, what are you going to do? And let me say this too, please. Cream is spelled C-R-E-M-E. -E. It's the French cream. So it's etching cream, C-R-E-M-E, E-T-C-H-A-L-L. -L and it's Barbie, B-A-R-B-E-E. -E. And if it doesn't have the B, it's not from me. Something else I want to tell you, do you know that last year at 2013, that this product, I'm the third group to have this, or the, I should say the, the third generation to have this product. In 2013, it was 80 years old. That's how long this formula has been out on the market. And if you haven't had it, hurry quick because it's wonderful. You're gonna have such fun making all these things. So before I put on my cream, I'm gonna take four little strips of just ordinary grocery store contact paper, okay? And I cut four little strips, I put them on, I pinch them like this. I just pinch my corners, pinch, pinch, then I'll roll up a towel and I'll put it on so it sits there. Let it wait for 15 uh, minutes. All right, after the 15 minutes, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pinch this and make a little pour spout. And I'm gonna take my dirty, the dirty squeegee, and I'm gonna put it right back into my jar to be reused. Then I'm going to rinse it off. At this point, never take off your design until after it's clean because you just might have a chance and when you're picking it off, it might splatter. Remember the one second that you've got a spot. You don't want to have a spot. It looks perfect and uh, your edges are going to be very, very clear, clean and crisp. So remember that little trick. You always have to wait and wash it off. When you're doing your products and things, we have the etch all transfer sheet and the etch mask, okay? Now then, your etch mask is the paper when you're going to cut your designs. If you have maybe an electronic little cutting machines, like the Cricut, the Pazzle, the uh, Scan and Cut, the Silhouettes, all of these machines, are you're going to be having your spell binders, any of these different kind of things that you can use. So you put this in, but if you're going to use one of those cutting machines, you must have your transfer tape on the top. Remember, that's the one we took off at the very end and it became your trash basket because once you cut the patterns, you can't pick up these little patterns. Now I've seen people, they pick up the patterns and things like this and they'll put it on and they'll say, oh, those little wrinkles don't make any difference. Yes, they do. Because if it wrinkles, you can have your cream to go in something and it doesn't look nice, even etch. So remember your etch mask and your transfer paper. All right. Let me just put this, whoops, it's alive. Put this over here as we're working. Maybe you don't have one of these electronic machines. That's okay. We didn't have them for a long, long time because like I said, it's 80 years old. What we have is 
a swivel blade knife, and this is the etch-all swivel blade knife. I have these manufactured special for etch-all. And see how it turns? It turns. Okay, you see the turning? Now, let me show you this little tool. It unscrews very easily like this. It's three parts. You take this off and out comes the little bitty blade. Okay, and we have a combo set that you get a swivel blade knife, two extra blades, and also a pick tool. And then you just screw this on. This is such fun. You can trace or draw your pattern. Okay, so then you just take your pencil or you trace it on and you can tell I'm a true artist. All right, or what's the very first, if you're doing toll painting, the very first stroke you ever learn is your comma stroke. Look how easy this is. Remember, it turns. You put it straight up and down, all right? And you hold it and watch how it just curls. See how it curls? Then you take your detail pick tool and you go in and you pick it out. And that's what we just cut, all right? If you, and it's fun to do the wiggles. When you're just starting and you want to use your little swivel blade knife, go over to a corner and just make little circles. What that does, that gives you the feel of your little blade. Then you can go over and then try, instead of like a comma stroke or anything straight, just go in and try it just a little wiggly. Look how it just wiggles. Isn't that fun? You just wiggle it. Take your uh, tool once again. And you'll notice when I'm taking this out, I didn't go into the, the part that I had drawn. I go on to, towards the inside to take it out and just pop it out. Now then, remember when we were doing the cut pattern? We had a piece on the top that you could uh, use as your trash basket. Well, we don't have that third piece. So what you do, put all your little cut pieces here right before you put your cream on, press them down so you don't want them to float on top of your pattern. Okay, so you're going to do this and that's how you cut your own designs. Let's go right on now because maybe when you, you overcut it and what you're going to do, we have a product called Resist Gel. This Resist Gel is like a piece of your etch mask in a bottle. And so what you're going to do, it's such a good thing, all you're going to do is, all right, now say I overcut my pattern. I would just come and I'd put a little bit of that on. That is your correction, okay? But you don't stop with that, you're thinking because I'm not going to use this. Okay, I'm going to put this back over here and show you your resist gel. You can just put it on. You can use this to design with. It comes out creamy and green. When it dries clear, you're ready to put your cream on. After that, 15 minutes, put the cream back into your jar to be reused. Rinse it off. This is still here. And this is the fun part. Okay? Watch how this does. You just peel this off. Wherever this has been, it will not etch. And it will always, it will never go underneath it so that you don't have to, you know, make a mess. It's very easy to do. And no, I'm sorry, this is not reusable. Okay? But something else, I never like to make a product or anything that it just has one use. The fun of this is, all right, now then, you see my little elephant? All I wanted to do, I wanted to just etch the little elephant. I didn't want all of this bottle to be etched. So what I did, I took my resist gel and I just went and I just put it all on, all the way up to here. Okay, then when that dried clear, I etched it. When it was done, I took it and cleaned it off. Then look, I just peeled it off. See how it's just, it's like a piece of plastic. Now I've tried everything from glues, to paste, to um, magic markers, everything, and it doesn't work. You have to use your resist gel, okay? 
like I said before, I don't put anything in our product line if you don't need it. Okay, so that is how you do it. Now, remember when we were doing our little bird and it had an eye? Now then, if you would have picked out that little eye, what I would have done, you don't try to cut a little teeny bitty eye, I would have come along and I would have had eye surgery. I would have come along and I would have made a little eye for you. Resist gel, it's fantastic. All right, now then, we're gonna go right along and I know this is a lot to absorb, but remember, this is a tape and that you're able to rewind and go back and forth and everything else like this and it can be in your library of all the different type of things that you do. We have little designer tip kit, okay, the Etch All tip kit. It comes with two empty little jars and three tips. So you can put your cream in this or you can put your resist gel and then you just draw your names or your designs. The designer Etch All tip kit. Something's fun to do. A lot of you have just the cream and you want an all over etch. For painting, what you're going to do, it gives the tooth and texture to paint on rubber stamp, or you can do your new Zang Tangle, all of these different things, but you need your etching on your glass, mirror, marble, slate, or china. It gives the tooth. Just what sandpaper is to wood, this is the etching medium that you need for your paints rubber stamps, embossing, and your different paints. You can use any kind of paint. It can be acrylic, it can be in oils, uh, all of these different things that you can use. What's fun to do is we're working with the cream, and now you can see this looks lacy. You can do it lacy, or it can look like a um, snow. You go into your cream, and then you would just sponge, sponge, sponge. How many of y'all go to the dollar store? Cause that's what this sponge, where it comes from. They come in a great big thing and you just cut them up because see all the holes? You don't want to get something fancy or anything, just your dollar store sponge. Go into your cream and just sponge all over it. Now this is one time that you would not try to save it because if you would try to save it, as you pick this off, you wouldn't have your lights and darks it would all be the one etched. So you're gonna just rinse this off. Then you're gonna paint on it. How many of you go to your Michaels and Joann's and you're going to use your Christmas ornaments? If you'll notice, if you look over here, now then, you go into Joann's or you go into Michaels and they'll have on a stand, they'll have your Christmas ornaments that are clear for 99 cents. Right alongside of them, they have your 99 cent frosted balls. Now then you think, well, that's great. It's only 99 cents. I'm gonna get the ones. And you'll notice I'm saying frosting. Frosting is a different thing than etching. The etch all dip and etch, the etch all etching cream, it actually eats into your glass and gives it your smooth, etching film for your texture. Frosting sits on the top. There's many companies that they want the etched look, but they don't have the product. So what they're using, they are using a product that is just a topping. What happens when you paint on it, it looks great until the next year when you take those ornaments out and all of a sudden, all you have is scratched and your paint is coming off. So all you have to do is etch your, your little uh, glass ornaments and paint on them and you have it. Moving right along, remember I said glass mirror marble slate? This is your china or your porcelain. You see this is the before, the shiny, and this is your after. This is remove the glaze. And what this does now, you have bisque. When you buy bisque, it's kind of rough. This is smooth, it will not hurt your brushes at all. Okay, and it's very inexpensive because you take it off, 
put it back in your jar to be reused and you're ready to paint. To show you what I'm talking about when I say tooth, when over here you can see there is nothing showing. Now watch. See how it grabs? That is what's so important. That grabs your inks, all of your different kind of things. And when you're doing all of your uh, paints and things, think of your little plate like this, okay, is that you can put your pattern right along behind it and trace it right there. Moving real quick, real quick, real quick, is your dipping edge. This is liquid, and this is even more fun and quick. If you're going to have a wine bottle that you're going to etch, take it to a party, and have everybody to sign it as a keepsake, it's great. If you're going to uh, etch any kind of a jar or things like this, this is when you use your liquid. If it's empty, you put a bag of marbles in, and you put this in, you put your, you never ever start, you never ever start to pour like this because it would get where you don't want it. Say you're going to do a stem of a glass. Well, it would get on the bowl. So what you're going to do, you take this, fill your plastic container with water. Then what you're going to do, you're going to take this out, your water goes to the level you want it to be etched, take out your container, dry it off, and the water goes down, okay? That's your marker, that is your measurement. So right here is what I'm going to do. Throw out your water, dry it, take the dip and etch, pour it in to that level, and then you put this in, it comes up right exactly where you want it, okay? That is the dip and etch. We're almost through, but we haven't found out if it really works. You think it did? I think it did. The little tip, we have a whole thing on Barbie's tips. And Barbie can fix anything because Barbie's made every mistake and she has to learn how to do it. Do not pull this down straight. What you're going to do, you're going to turn it to the side and you're gonna peel it down. You're gonna peel it down and see how easy it just goes right back into your jar. And remember, it's reusable. You use it over and over and over. Now then, you would never ever take off your pattern at this time because it would splatter where you don't want it. So we're gonna go over here to our water. If you have a porcelain sink, remember it's going to etch the porcelain sink. So this is just plain water. We're gonna rinse it. Never take your pattern off until after you've got all your cream off. We're going to take it off, take it off, Take it off, take it off, yell the boys from the back. Rinse it off, just take your little eye out and dry it. You're gonna dry it and you think it worked? I hope you, it did. And so you're gonna dry it, dry it, dry it. And every now and then somebody puts their pattern on and I'll tease them and I'll say, oh, well it looks great but you turn it, put it in upside down and you always kind of give a little fanny rub and you blow life into it and there is your finished picture. Just that easy. This is such fun. Children can do this. We're the only product that has the Art and Craft Safety Board for children under 12. We ask you under 12 to have supervision because we don't want them to take their little pick tool and have a duel or something like that. It will not hurt their hands or anything else like this, but you have a finished product and everybody's looks alike. So enjoy. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'm as close as your telephone, 623-933-4567, or go onto our website and see all the wonderful things. We have a wonderful design team, and you can go to that. It's www.itchall.com. We're having a new designer page, so please come and look at all of our samples, all the new um, stencils that we're making. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. God bless.